back with the cruise ship, but today we're going to be working on the VIP interior. And I think the entire video is going to be dedicated to that so we can actually make it like super luxury in here and look really nice because it's VIP. Like these are the type of cabins that I'm going to be staying in. And same with up here. We're going to be working on captain's quarters and the engineering department and a whole bunch of other stuff up here. But let's jump right in into the workbench here. So let's click B and here we go. All right. So first class consists of everything on this floor right here. If you just saw what I deleted, I'm going to go start on the actual captain's bedroom right here. I think this is the captain's one, right? Well, I just looked and this one is a little bit bigger. So this one is going to be my bedroom here since I'm going to be the captain of the ship or whoever drives this because it will be on workshop. All right. So there's going to be two compartments in my bedroom here and there's going to be a bathroom. Of course, there's going to be a bathroom in here. So let's go and start on the bathroom and just start making the walls for it. So I think we're going to make the bathroom wall like right here. But as you can tell, it's kind of like messing up this window right here and you like that looks horrible. Yeah. OK, so we need to kind of see what we can do here about this. We're going to delete this for now and maybe we can just have like some type of separator because it's just going to be the captain in this room. Nobody else. So I really don't think there'd be uh, a whole lot of like privacy in here. Maybe I should block off that window. I don't know. I think it'll be fine. But anyways, let's continue on the bathroom. And to be honest, I want some type of actual like shower in here. Do you guys think a shower would be cool? Oh, we totally need one since we're like, you know, the captain. We got to stay clean and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and grab a window and this window will kind of like it'll look cool. All right. So I'm going to show you. It'll be like one of those uh, little window divider type of deals here. And there we go. All right. So that's going to be our type of window system we're going to have here. And you know what? We're going to do something a little bit different and add some more design to it. Okay. So I think something like this will actually look pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and rotate that. And all right. It looks interesting. Yeah, we could probably do some work. But that means this right here is the actual bathroom. We're going to fill this up with blocks because it kind of looks weird. And then grab ourselves a nozzle. And this is what the water is going to shoot out of. I don't know if we're going to have a working bathroom. You know, we probably should. I don't know. We'll figure that out probably in like a plumbing video or something. And then right here could be our bathroom. So let's see how this will work. This is a little bit of a small bathroom here. But you know, something like that might just work. Wait, actually, no, that looks definitely like a sink. Okay, yeah, no. And then I got the toilet right here. This looks like very interesting. Um, so we definitely don't have enough room for a sink, which is completely fine. Like uh, we could just use the shower, turn on the shower, use it as a sink. You know, it's a little bit interesting, but you know, we'll make it work. Let's go down here in the bathroom or the toilet area and start blocking that stuff off because it kind of looks weird with all that open room down there. And then to add a little bit more design to this, I'm going to go to grab a paintable sign. Yeah, I think a sign because we don't want it to glow and we're going to make like a little bit of a toilet handle here. So replace color, make that all white. And we're going to make like a handle type of deal on this side. I don't think they're normally on this side, but it'll work. All right. So there's our handle flush thing. There we go. And I just realized they normally point outward. So we're going to do that. But anyways, now we're going to actually start painting the room. So we probably should have done this from the start, but I think we're going to paint the floors brown just for this area. I don't know if that's going to be the entire ship, but we're going to see like what kind of fits for each room. And then what do you think since this is like the really nice type of the area of the boat? If we paint the walls like this peach color, I feel like this wouldn't look too bad. We're going to spawn this in and definitely check it out here because I need to look at this. Okay, so spawn it in. And then we're going to go straight to my actual captain's quarters lounge. This thing gets really low in the water. We still need to fix that, but we're not done. So yeah. All right. So ooh, I don't think it looks too bad with this type of wall. And, uh, what's it called? Flooring. And then I decided to paint the actual floor a little bit of a gray color over here. I think I need to make it a little bit darker. And then I have an idea for like this glass pane thing that's being held up by this block. So we're actually going to paint it black. Black, and I feel like black would just look pretty cool like this. And then for this divider thing right here, we're going to be painting this like some type of golden color. It doesn't really look that cool to me, but then we're going to leave the toilet white, I think. Normally they're white, so I think that'll work. Then, all right, we got the inside of the shower now. So what should we do with this area? I'm going to go to plain fill here, and should we just do like gray? I feel like gray doesn't look too bad. All right, so of course the room looks a little bit weird right now. We need to go kind of find the center of the room and just look directly up. And this is where the light's going to be. So we're going to search up light, and this is where the light is going to be. It's not going to be an LED, just a normal one. And then where should the ultimate button be for this light? So we're going to go there and grab a toggle button and then go ahead and connect everything up. All right, here we go. What will it look like in here? And yeah, we definitely need to choose a different lighting and then probably even add another light over here. But I feel like we should do something with this. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. I already have an idea for that. All right. So I think we're going to make like some type of desk out of it here. I'll show you guys what I mean. So it's going to be flat right here for a bit. And then on the side over here is actually going to be where the bed is at. Okay, so I don't want that crap color bed and then we're gonna grab a bed like this and then should we have it like right there i feel like that might be a little bit low for a bed but it doesn't matter like too much we want it to be lower than the desk the desk kind of just looks a little bit uh or it's normally supposed to be shorter we're gonna make this a white color because i don't know what color it should be for now and there we go and i'm gonna grab a pipe and this pipe is going to contribute to the chair so i'm gonna be making a chair right here for this desk so we can have important information laid out on it like all of our financial papers that i'm spending to make this boat and you know what i'm thinking just for like the the wood type of color in the room. We're going to make 
make it like that. And then what color should our bed be? Should we make it like the Minecraft red color? Uh, ooh, actually, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, I think we're totally gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add another light real quick over here because it's definitely too dark. And then we can't just have the lights be white. We're gonna add like some type of tint to it. Hopefully that is a good looking tint. We're gonna see though. This light switch will connect to that. All right, I can't wait to see my room. And oh, wow, this actually doesn't look too bad at all. I'm gonna fix this right here. We'll add like some paintable blocks so it can have some curvature to it. But I'm actually kind of digging this. We'll put some stuff on the wall. You know, this isn't bad at all. It's coming together. We got ourselves a shower here that we can walk in. What should we have on this wall over here? Hmm, maybe like a big shelving system. Okay, we're gonna see how that looks. All right, so I mentioned a shelving system. Let's kind of just make some shelves over here. Um, I'm not really good at shelves. Don't you just do something like that if I had a guess? Uh, I feel like they're way too close to each other though. So what we're gonna do is not make them just one block above. We're gonna go two blocks above. That's gonna get in the way of the light, but I think it'll be fine. We're gonna move it. All right, excuse me, light. I'm gonna move you one block over here. Hopefully you don't mind. We gotta fill up that hole in the wall right there. And I feel like something like this doesn't look too bad. And then we can kind of do what we did in our ultimate yacht. And you maybe put some drinks over here, you know, drinks, red and green. Okay, you know, we gotta add some variation. There we go. All right, so we got it stacked full, which we definitely don't wanna do. I don't wanna look like I just drink alcohol all day. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of just some random one. So, all right, I feel like that'll work. And then I said I was gonna fix this little thing over here. So I guess I have to. We're gonna go to patch this up. And what color should the main color be? So replace color. Uh, we're just gonna make it this all gray color. I feel like that'll work out quite well. There we go. And then now what we need to happen is just have this brown color like kind of smooth out going this way. Okay, so normally two is the perfect length to go when it's dope crap. And would you look at that? Okay, so we're gonna disable some of this and that doesn't look too bad. All right, and I even added a little bit of writing on this thing. Anyways, port side is left, starboard is right. I don't know if I spelled that right. Anyways, of course we need to add some like drink or something right there. Whatever you want that to be, it's gonna be that. All right, so we basically have all the walls filled up besides this. This one all right so we got this wall basically filled with nothing we got some glass panes here and let's see what we can do with these all right so let's just put some like random glass things down and can i put stuff on this Ooh, let's see all right we're gonna continue with that in a second but guys look we got cabinets okay so we're gonna put some of these down over here this is definitely necessary it'll look good it'll fit in quite well let's merge all these in or else they'll just fall out of play anyways back to these why would we want them all on the same level let's add a third one down here and it's gonna be one block down okay you know just add some detail um i don't know if we're gonna have anything on them do we need anything i don't really think so also we're gonna add a button below the lights this is lock door okay so that means no one else is gonna be able to come in so we're just gonna connect that to lock and there we go all right so i can't say this room looks really nice but we definitely got carried away on it it just looks so nice though now let's go ahead and start on the engineer's cabin all right so should we have like the same type of setup geez i don't know if we can because this room's actually a little bit smaller than this so we might have to do something like majorly different and then we got the engineer's room right here fully done i didn't want to bore you guys um just showing you guys how i built this but yeah, it's pretty cool. We got like a little hanger set up in here where you hang your clothes at and then a little bathroom. We got the same type of bathroom set up. But yeah, I kind of like it. Really like claustrophobic, but it's cozy. But we got the two important people's rooms done. Now we're going to start on the actual flooring of the main hallway. So I think we're going to make it a red color. I don't know if it's going to be this like bright at the end. This is like a super bright red, but you know, maybe like a like carpet type of red. Then I think we're going to be painting these walls like the peach color we mentioned earlier. All right, looking good. And then we're going to be painting the staircase like the golden color that we were using earlier. It kind of looks like a crap color now hopefully it's just the lighting all right because that's kind of concerning hey you know what that's probably something we have to check because i'm not going to paint the entire boat that color and it's just like a crap color all right okay it doesn't look like too bad i don't know How, do you guys think it looks good gotta definitely add like some type of decorations before the staircase right here i feel like a perfect spot would be a uh one of those one by four wedges and then we're gonna be painting all the doors for now this gray color just so we can like you know see the doors and not think they're like the wall oh gosh guys i'm not a fan of the same color so look at the rooms and then look out here it's the same color i definitely should have chosen a different one but yeah we got to repaint a couple stuff here right, so i'm kind of digging this design i did right here kind of looks like the walls are like fuzzy in a way i don't know that's kind of how I, i'm hoping they look but um i'm thinking we're gonna do something like this we'll have this like two thick block line just run across the entire wall at this exact height and then we'll fill the rest with like the gray color that we did for the doors but of course we'll switch that all right so around 20 years later we got that done i'm gonna start on the lighting now so how do you guys 
think the lighting should be in this room? Hmm, well, there's not really going to be anything in this room besides people walking through. We're just going to keep uh, transparency on or whatever it's called and then place lights like random blocks apart. Okay, so we're just going to keep four blocks in between each one for now since we just started like that. Ooh, I feel like that might be really laggy though. Yeah, that's totally going to be laggy. Okay, so we got to have more blocks in between. We'll just stick with that. All right, so we got all the lighting down. I'm just painting it now. Do you guys think that's still too many lights like having it six blocks in between? I don't know. It kind of looks like it might really lag our games. We're going to see though. Okay, so we're just going to color all these lights. I even have some more on the end of this hallway. And just for now, we're going to put the main light button right here. So this is going to be like the official crash your game button. Oh, why am I trying to search for a light? I need a toggle button. And this button is, of course, going to turn on all the light. And I'm going to be painting the button um, the right color here. So we're going to color it like, oh my gosh, I keep messing this up. Stop. And now we have like a whole bunch of things to actually connect this light to. There's already a whole bunch of logic nodes. Oh my gosh, guys, this is getting a little bit chaotic. But I got them all connected. I'm going to go ahead and spawn this in. And if it likes my game, I think I'm going to delete every other light or uh, blocks in between the lights. All right. So here we go. I feel like, yeah, this is definitely wait. Is it too much? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, we could probably skip out on that one. That one, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. So this is with half as many lights. I feel like this is definitely much better. It looks way better. Yep. All right. So now I got these two chairs here and I feel like they'll fit the ship really well. Now we need to decide which one will actually fit best in this little compartment area right here is what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just copy this down. And if it doesn't fit, we'll just grab the other one, but I think it's definitely going to, oh, there's a whole bunch of room here. Okay. So we're going to lower this down and that is a perfect fit. All right. Okay. We're totally doing that. Merge it in. There we go. So now we have like a pretty warm entry over here. Now we're going to start on the interior for these rooms. All right. So they're symmetrical, thankfully, and we only have to do one of these and then one of these. And I think that might be it. But of course, we're going to go ahead and start on the room and grab our color. So right here is like our divider type of color or like it's this golden color. Oh, I don't have symmetry on. Oh, no. But anyways, yeah, like I was saying, our divider is going to be this golden color. And I feel like that's way too big of an entrance for a bathroom. So we're going to block it off till there. And we have a decent amount of room to work with in here. We're going to do the same type of setup we did in that other bathroom we made earlier. Get off right here. So we'll have that pane right there. And this, this entire area in between these black wedges right here will be filled with window. And then on this side of the bathroom, we're going to grab a nozzle. And this is where the water will actually come out at if we do our plumbing. Right. And on this side is going to be our actual bathroom area. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves just a normal block and we're going to make it white because uh, hopefully your toilet's white. To be honest, I feel like one of those one by two wedge things isn't just going to do it. So we're going to grab a block and just extend it. Oh gosh, the game's like kind of lagging already. Hopefully it's not my cruise ship. And then we got our window here. I'm going to be placing and there we go. All right. So this is our window separator system from the toilet and then the actual shower itself. And I think we might actually be able to stuff a sink in this bathroom. So it's going to be a little bit nicer than the cabin's quarters. Uh, so let's see if I can actually do this correctly and pull it off here. So what kind of sink do we want? Um, a pink sink? I don't know. Here, we'll just make it gold. All right. So I'm pretty good at making small sinks here. Let's see if I can pull this off. So we're going to do something like this. And then since that part's angled right there, we're going to make this part just completely straight. Something like that. Oh, wait, it doesn't let me. Uh, oh, wait, I did that wrong. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Okay. So we're going to grab an inverse pyramid and there we go. Now we can do what I was talking about. So now we got ourselves like one of the smallest sinks in the world. That is really cool. And then we can grab ourselves an exhaust manifold and point this down and it looks like we have a faucet there so that is pretty cool then if i remember right we painted the entire floor brown i think we're just going to do that for all the rooms here because this is going to be a cruise ship made by me and that means it's going to be like the most luxury cruise ship on the planet and it's definitely going to follow up the price for that also so in no means this is going to be a cheap cruise ship ride you guys are going to be paying a pretty penny to even buy the ship actually no you wouldn't buy it you'd buy a vip pass anyways we got all the boring painting stuff done with the room we're going to add a really cool design right here make it look more modern i mean we're kind of making like an older type of ship if that's even like uh you know modern i don't know if that's the thing anyways we're gonna be adding a modern looking type of wall right here i feel like just you know some design there we go i feel like that looks pretty good a uh, fat person could perfectly fit through there just like that now we need to add some stuff on the walls here so clearly um oh i don't know there's not a lot of room in here um let's see what we can do over here so i feel like right here would be a great place for a closet so we're gonna go ahead and do just that um should we have stuff on this wall too like blocks i don't know we'll probably just do something like this fill it up with some blocks so at the bottom right here will just be this so this is the bottom of the closet and then right here is going to be the top and then we can't forget about the clothing hangers so there we go so we kind of have this side of the room done we're definitely going to do some customizations we're going to grab ourselves a window real quick and do something over here so we got ourselves a little window and we're going to place it in certain spots right over here wait why can't i place it here oh the ladder oh gosh okay you know that might actually end up being an issue but you know just 
just for now, I think we're gonna do something like this. Let's just do a little check real quick. Is there anything else we should really add? Okay, so we're gonna paint the bottom of this the golden color because I don't want it to be like some random color. I'd say it's good for now. We're gonna go to add some lighting real quick. So we're gonna put a light on this side of the room over here in the dead center. So right there and then right there directly above the shower. So it's probably gonna get some water damage, but that's fine because this is my cruise line and we're gonna be able to afford anything that happens, all right? We can afford everything. Like, what are you talking about? We got the budget to build a cruise ship. Like, what do you think we can't afford? Anyways, now we need an actual button to turn on the light. So we're gonna grab this and I cannot wait to spawn this in and check it out. Uh, I just realized this is a two passenger cabin. So we probably should have made the bathroom a little bit more private, but whoops, messed up on that regard. I mean, I guess we could add a door sill. We'll just uh, leave that to the passengers if they feel that, but you know, for now. Right, so we have a lock door button right here. We're gonna bring that to the lock button and then we have a light. We're gonna connect that to our two lights and oh, didn't name it on this. All right, all right. I think we got everything all connected. We're gonna spawn this in and check it out. All right, wait, is that icebergs over there? Wait, what's going on? Did they like update the map? What in the world? Why is it all snowy over here? I thought, okay, well, it might be the Christmas update. Sorry for getting off topic there. I'm just surprised that there was snow. It looks like we got some coloring issues going on there. We're gonna go over here and turn on the hallway lights and just act like we're a passenger going to our luxury cabin. Oh, it just looks so nice in here. We gotta add some stuff to these walls. They're looking a bit plain. All right, so we're up here right now. This is the cabin. Oh my gosh. I just love this like little thing we did here. I don't even know what it is, but it looks cool. Look at this. This is our cabin, guys. This is so nice. We gotta add some decoration somewhere. All right, so talking about decorations, I just robbed a store and look at all these paintings we have now. All right, so we got some paintings of a ship, a Minecraft creeper, um, a very creepy lady. I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm really digging this like palm tree mountain thing over here. So, you know, we're just gonna grab this stuff right over here. All right, this looks more appealing than that creepy lady. All right, so we cannot actually copy the glass in front of it because that like, um, I don't know, why can't we do that? You know, it, actually, I kind of know why. So we got the bed in front of us here and the glass goes over the bed and you can't technically sleep in the bed if there's glass on you, I guess. But all right, now we got a nice palm tree picture thing and I just added another painting. How nice does this look, guys? Oh, it's totally gonna look super nice once we actually go in there. But that leads us to the last room right here and this is gonna be the smallest VIP room that we currently have on board and this is gonna be nearly impossible to build. So let's see how we can actually do this and make sure you stay till the end to see how it works out. All right, so we got a super small door right here. The first thing we can do is add a little bit more design to it, okay? So, you know, do our little magic touch to it like that. There we go. Should we add the fat person touch to it? You know, like the um the extra curvy thing. I don't know. Can we do that? Because of the bed right there. And do we even have enough room? Um, guys, I don't know if we have enough room for a shower. Um, that's not really that good. Okay, we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna do our little curtain setup we do here normally. Oh, wait, we can't even do that. Okay, so we gotta grab a one by one block because we're just in that tight of a room. We can't even walk past that one little two block space there. Okay, so we're gonna do this on that side and add our little window curtain right here. And that actually fits perfectly okay right here is going to be our little nozzle that the water shoots out of oh this is just so claustrophobic all right so i don't think we can add both which one do you guys prefer a sink or a toilet uh, I would say toilet. You guys agree with me a toilet? Yeah, okay, so let's see if we can somehow stuff one in. All right, so we definitely can't do like a giant toilet here. We can maybe do something like this. Oh gosh, okay, so maybe that. Oh, nope, we gotta add a block here for that. All right, y'all, we got our toilet. Um, It's probably not what you expected it to be, but um, yeah, we really are having a, a room issues. And you know what? I have an idea, okay? So this might not be sanitary at all, but we might be able to actually put the sink right next to the toilet um it's a little bit short but you know um yeah, that'll work oh gosh okay it's getting a little bit disgusting in our cruise ship and of course we're gonna be painting it our nice gold color over here awesome awesome just our little gold uh fat person spiral just like that and then we can't forget to paint the beds so the beds are actually pretty high rise in this room so water shouldn't be uh no no we're not gonna talk about that if for some reason the ship has water issues it won't have an issue ever that won't totally ever happen um it will be fine okay we'll just leave it at that no issue because you got the risen bed and you know what just for the cruise line saying sorry about the toilet situation we'll make your toilet gold okay here you go all right happy now and then your sink can be like a gray uh gray water color i don't know and then do you guys really think this room needs two lights i think it might you know it's just might be at like the perfect length we're gonna add a light on both sides just in case now we need everything lit up in this ship if we have a single spot where there isn't light we're gonna have issues okay so now the real question is where our buttons should
should be to like actually lock the door and do all that uh, really fun stuff. Okay, we'll do it right here. Um, that's interesting. There's not blocks back there. Toggle button, toggle button. And then since there's really not a whole lot of space in here for your clothes, I'll add, I'll be nice and add some drawers here for you. All right, so there you go. This is your slide out um, hanging clothes type of system. Then of course, we can't forget of a random decoration we want inside of the boat. So we're gonna put a boat in the boat and then we're gonna put another boat in the boat on this side of the room, merge it in. And maybe add like some type of decoration holder thing right there. Maybe add some decoration holders on this side over here. All right, it isn't looking too bad in here, honestly. But I think we basically got these cabins done. Let's go ahead and check out what we just actually made in this video. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, so let's go up here and start towards the front. So up front here, we have the button to turn on all the lights in the boat. And this is our lovely captain's quarters. That is mine. And then we got this lovely room right here. This is our engineer's room. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, claustrophobic, more claustrophobic than my room. And then we switch to the lovely cabins in here. Honestly, I kind of like these a little bit more because they're just smaller and I just like it, to be honest. But yeah, we got our bunk bed cabins right here with a whole bunch of nice pictures on the wall. A nice view of what the heck. Okay, that kind of scared me. This is the room that we just made. All right, let's see in here. All right, this is the little room. Oh, this is so tidy. Yeah, so definitely a one person type of room. And then this is the bathroom right here with a shower. We should make like some type of mirror system right here. But yeah, we basically got all the rooms done in this video, guys. It's probably going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to stay tuned for some more cruise ship building videos. But of course, let me know what I should actually add next to the cruise ship. Thanks for watching and goodbye.